Hey, Shalom, Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rikach, Wadash. want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters, Shalom. You know, the Spirit uh, jumped on us last night, man, to... Uh, to put together this epistle, you know, through the spirit and power you have by Shemashai, it's a response to the big brother Elder Manatazabba's epistle here. Um, re GMS receives a spiritual lashing, you know. And man, I'm so thankful for this uh, for this epistle. I'm I'm thankful for um, you know what has transpired because we all understand that man's goings are of the Lord. So this is just another showcase of the rebellious children. Um, now these guys, I, I see among other things, just absolutely refuse to call on the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, to call on the, the Lord our God, right? I mean, wow, bro. You know, but hey, it's, it's prophecy being fulfilled. Let's get this scripture. We're going to get into it. Um, you know, once again, the spirit, you know, through the spirit, man, we got a lot of a lot of scriptures to bring out. It is it is quite a bit. So we're going to we're going to be moving quite quickly. I'm going to play the video. I just want to bring out this one scripture first, please. If, if you don't, you know, as, as the elders say, the, you know, must be allowed to bring out this, this, this precept right here. Little children. You know, and this is John chapter, 1 John chapter 2 verse 18. Little children, it is the last time. It's the last time, bro. You know, like, uh, like the brother from uh, Jim at Chicago, um, teach what was taught. He always say, hey, this is the last time that, you know, we're going to be able to, you know, proclaim this word of truth, you know, to to do the work of the Lord. And, you know, this kind of I, don't, I can't, I, you know, the way he says it, you know, he's like saying it. This is it. So, you know, go all in. This is it. You know, do what you can for the Lord. Show out something like that. You know, he goes into it like this is this is it because we understand in measuring the time diligently within itself. That this is it. This is the end of Esau's kingdom. And the kingdom of heaven is at hand, brothers and sisters. You know, that's why this warning is going out to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Hey, t hey, take this word very serious, man. Put on as the elect. Be obedient to the word of Yahweh Shemashah. The Lord, you know, oh, happy Israel are we for the things that are pleasing to the Lord and made known to us. And one of them is returning to him. Believing on having that perfect understanding and he's giving us elders apostle great millstone and all the brothers on that umbrella to To get that to 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 seek the Lord's face to come and get to know who the Lord is and do the things Be obedient to the word of Yahweh about my child. Why calling me Lord Lord and do not what I say, bro? You know and Lord willing this epistle is gonna bring it out. We're gonna get into it. Okay, so once again Salaki man I'm, I'm trying not to talk so much. Okay, Salaki bro First John chapter 2 verse 18 little children. It is the last time and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Okay. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Right. We, we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. You know, we know who's, who's, who's us, who's with us, and who's against us. You know, as Yahweh as Shah as as say, he that is not with me is against me. And you're scattering the sheep, just like we brought out yesterday in that epistle. Just plain. You know, having to come, constantly come out and rebuke these, these uh, other Israelite camps. Say, hey, constantly say, no, you have about Shemasha. Say, that, that's not the way. This is the way. Walk you in it. You're going off. You're going off. You're going off. You're going off. You know, warning the children of Israel, hey, stop watching these other Israelite camps. There's only one way, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. And so this is just another, you know, example <clears throat> of the disobedient children. So this is from, and I'll put this in the description box, brothers and sisters, and as many other brothers, I'm going to try to continue to try to put them in the description box as I, you know, get them. Uh, right now, just a moment ago, <clears throat> Bakar Moth was doing a response to this as well. So let's play this little video clip here. Real quick, you found the verse? Yeah, I got it. This is a <clears throat> I'm, we got a reader. Uh -oh. What's the verse? I mean, I'll just read it. I, I got you. What's the verse? It's John 17 and 6. John 17 and 6. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and read. The book of John. 
chapter 17, verse 6. Bring it out. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou givest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now, yeah, that's it. Read it one more time. John chapter 17, verse 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou givest me out of the world. All right, so real quick, break it down. Uh, this is this is uh, so called Jesus Christ praying to God, and he's and he's praying for basically the elect. So this is Jesus Christ praying to God, well, praying to God for the elect. Jesus Christ, that's not his real name. The letter, J, okay. the letter J was created in 1520. We know there was no there was no J in Hebrew. We right. go to wise. You can call him what you decide. All right, all right. All right. Well, right. Yahweh. Yahweh. Right. Okay. He was praying to Yahweh. Yahweh Shah was praying to Yahweh. Right. And he's talking about the elect. He said, I have manifest thy name, speaking to the Most High, thy name unto them. So you made the statement. So Yahweh Shah was talking to Yahweh. Right. He prayed, uh -huh. and he, he made a prayer to the Lord. Right. And then he said he, he, said he manifested. Go ahead. The Most High's name to the men. Right. Right. You go back. Do you guys go into like the Hebrew or, or the Greek or anything like that? We don't because who speaks Hebrew nowadays? Proper Hebrew, like Haley ancient Hebrew? The real Hebrew. Because the Hebrew language now is Yiddish. Right. You really go to you go to real Hebrew and they try to teach it, our people get caught up learning a, a language that a white man created. Right. So I'm asking you the original Hebrew, because that's that's really what it was all in, right? That's something that's been lost. Right. Most people don't know that. So when we go to our people and teach them repentance, me telling them to not commit adultery in Hebrew or English, which one's gonna be more effective? English. So that's why we're out here. God has magnified his word above all his name. But I'm not I'm not denying what you're saying either. So I'm trying to understand where you're coming from. Because it says he manifested his name unto these men, right? So where are you going with it? I'm just reading it verbatim. He said he used, used me right. for this statement that nobody has his name. But he just made this. He said that I have manifested the most high's name to a certain people. Right. But you said... And I, that's on video. You said that nobody has a name. Hey, what's your name, bro? Quanda Wild. What camp you with? Great Mill. Great Mill. So you with GMS? <laughs> yeah. All right. So you already got the name doctrine, right? We up here to teach our people. Right. Right. And y'all. Yeah, we are teaching Jesus truth. Christ. And the truth is what? Jesus Christ. Keeping the laws and commandments. So you don't believe in Christ? Jesus Christ? Hell. You don't believe in the Son of God that came and died for the nation of Israel? But his name is not Jesus Christ. That's not so that's the that's the same Christ, Yahweh Shai, the Hamashiach. The that's the same one we no, teach. No, it ain't. That's the same exact one. Y'all just yeah. stuck on the name. And y'all don't even understand when it talks about his name in the Bible, it talks about his works, what he done everything that he's done for the nation no man has that name right. no man has that name the name that was manifest was the works that he's done can't nobody you can name your son Yahweh Shai does that make him the Messiah that came and died for Israel no the name it was talking about is what give me Nehemiah 9 and 13 hey go to Acts 4 and 12 Nehemiah 9 and 13 because there's no name that you shall be saved under the heavens brother y'all not saying nothing that we don't know y'all brothers this is what y'all do and, and and this is what y'all reprobate GMS vagabonds do y'all come up here and, and try to debate brothers that's teaching repentance why aren't y'all on the corner teaching brothers to repent stop smoking telling the women quit being whores telling the men get a job get off drugs take care of your family why y'all not doing that we do i don't never see no i ain't never seen no video of you brother i ain't never i seen this brother he came up to the camp scoffing one time all y'all brothers do is come to israelites that's doing the work and y'all just come about the name doctrine but yet and still y'all not living like christ when did christ go up to the pharisees and debate doctrine when did christ when did christ go out his way 
way to go seek the Pharisees. Definitely. Never. Y'all do that. Y'all got the spirit of the Pharisees on you. Let's get that name. Read. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 13. Give verse 10. Give verse 10. Verse 10. And, shed his, and showed his signs and wonders upon Pharaoh uh -huh. and on all his servants. Who's the one that showed signs upon Pharaoh and all his servants? The Most High. Read. And on all the people of his land. Uh -huh. For thou knewest that they dealt proudly against him. Read. So didst thou get thee a name as his... Hold on, hold on. Then what? So didst thou get thee a name... Get what? Didst thou get thee a name? So when you did all these things... Bro, I can't do it. You know? I'm talking about uh, being vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, my man. Um... You know, these guys clearly just they're just going off, man. They uh talking about repentance, talking about stop smoking. And, uh, you know, we, we of course, we preach all those things. But, you know, even, um, you know, in, even in the, in the times of old, you know, when, when we spoke about repentance to the to the uh, Gentiles, you know, it's like, OK, do these do these certain things. But mostly believe, have faith in you. How about have faith in the Lord and come back, return. Of course, when you do that, all these other things are going to fall in place. We're going to re be rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, to the best of our abilities. But we're not justified by the law. But do you be actually believe? Do these See, these guys don't even have enough faith to believe in the name and to call on that name. And Lord willing, once again, we're going to get it in the, in, in the, in the epistle. I just, I just want to bring this, this scripture out, you know, as he was speaking about it. And... Uh, Came to my mind because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten son. You know, because the scripture speaks about there's only one name on the heaven that we shall be saved. No, but these, you know, leave it up to these, these guys. Uh, and, but that goes into uh, the false prophets. And I just want to bring this out. We're going to get right into the epistle. John chapter 3, verse 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Right. So these guys are actually condemned, bro. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shemash. And that's the beauty of uh, of this truth. He have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son. You know, and what comes with the name? Everything else, just like he was talking, just like this guy talking about. What comes with the name? Everything comes with the name. You know, the reputation, what the Lord's all about. You know, the the Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy, what's about to happen. You know, the prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. And Lord, once again, we're going to try to, get, Lord willing, get it into this epistle. Um, it's just so much. It's just so much in this thing. But, you know, hey, going on. Oh, that's what I want to bring out. As you know, how that's so beautiful about this truth. How the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, has set good against evil. Life again. Let's go get that scripture real quick before we move on, man. And, and it's playing out right before our very eyes. You know. <laughs> wow. Right. Hey, man. It, can y'all see that it came up on the phone as soon as i came to the as soon as i came to that to the uh app that's what we're looking for uh ecclesiastes in the apocrypha chapter 33 verse 13 as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as liking him best good is set against evil so you know like i said i'm so thankful that this all came about. You, over, you know, on one hand, you got uh, some followers of GMS. We like Big Brother Elder say, don't know if they're they're in the in the actual camp, but you know, of course they they follow the doctrine. Uh, he said when he was uh, he was up there with them, he saw them on the other side. They weren't actually preaching, but they were on the other side. So uh, <clears throat> because of course we all know, and as you can see, don't go up to these don't go up to these guys. Uh, because they're reprobates, bro. They're heretics. They can't get it. They don't give a damn. They're not in the truth. They're false prophets. You know, just like I was speaking about the other day. Uh, in, the, in the beginning, you know, I would go up to the uh, Jehovah's Witness uh, guys when I saw them on, on the side of the road, you know, and try to, hey, hey, bro, we, you know, we, did y'all hear that we the Israelites? Because I was, you know, brand new, didn't know no better. But after, after experience, after time, we understand that this is their lot. This is where the Lord has got them at. Because this word of truth is being proclaimed on the four corners of the earth. You know, no man comes to the Father unless this no man comes to the Son unless the Father draw him. I have chosen you, you did not choose me. This is a it's all predestinated, my man. You know? 
Uh, my sheep hear my voice, as we brought out yesterday. Just a beautiful, plain understanding. You know, the Lord just commanded us to go out here and preach this word, proclaim this word of truth. We're making these epistles right now. This this is going to go up as, as all the brothers go up. And, you know, it's on the unicorn, so everybody's going to be able to see it, you know, and decide for themselves, you know, as the Lord give you the spirit. But the seed is planted. The Lord is the one that gives the increase. So as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as he likened them best. Good is set against evil. They 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 over there being wicked and evil, you know, uh, calling on JC, my man, and life against death, right? So what's it, what what does what the scripture say? Choose ye life. I set before you this day, you know, life and death. Choose ye life. Repent. Scripture speaks about. Um, see, they they speak in repentance, but the scripture speaks about the the hour coming now is when the true worshiper shall worship Yahweh Masha in spirit and in truth. You know, once again, not being justified by, by faith. I mean, so I cannot be justified by works, but by faith and works. You know? They're they, uh, trying to, uh, 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 what they call, what, what are you saying? We're trying to wake up all Israel, uh, clean up the community. These, these same Jakes walk around picking up paper and shit. Yeah, I've seen them pick up paper in communities talking about they they doing so good. They doing good. You know? But this world about to be destroyed, man. We don't give a damn about this world. You know? Yeah, how about is gonna come and destroy this place, bro? Two thirds of the children of Israel are about to get cut off and die. If you still out there, you know, talking about you black and you 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 still wrestling with the doctrine, you don't, you know, you're coming against them, you're an adversary. Many antichrist. Just like we read earlier, good is set against evil and life against death. So it's the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. The sinner against the godly. The godly against the sinner. Sinner against the godly. Godly against the sinner. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. You know, even those of the household of faith, bro. All Israel is not Israel. It's plain. Okay, so let's get into the epistle now. Um, I got some things coming out right here. Let me get out of the way, bro. Let me get out of the way. And let's do this. This is the book of John. This is the book of John. Um, chapter 9 verse 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. Right. Hey. The spirit of prophecy. We know what's about to happen. You know. This time of Jacob's trouble. Okay. That's when people are going to start calling on the Lord. You know. This is the book of Revelations. Chapter uh, 7 verse 3 Saying hurt not the earth Let's start let's jump up And I saw another angel ascending from the east Having the seal of the living God And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels And to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea Okay Saying hurt not the earth Neither the sea nor the trees Till we have sealed the servants of our God In their foreheads Okay Till we have sealed the servants of Yeah and that's what's going on right now bro This is the book of uh Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4 And the Lord said unto him Go through the midst of the city And through, through the midst of Jerusalem Jerusalem is a people before it's a place And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men That sigh and that cry for all the abomination That be done in the midst thereof And we're right here yet again Crying and sighing You know about these damn wicked ass Israelites You know that's still running around here Calling on Christ You know Um Trying to, you know, being over righteous, talking about they, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna be justified by, by, by the law when they're go, clearly going off, still uh, performing the Sabbath days on on Friday sundown, just like the heathen. They in there loving the world, marching up and down the street. Okay, I had this John right here for some reason. What, what was that? What was it for? John, uh, I think I had John nine and four here. I must work the work of him that sent me. Uh, while it is day when no man can work uh what did i want to i wanted to pull up uh the night i believe um here night the time when work ceases you know the time of death it's time of judgment bro time for deeds because don't forget now the famine of the word is coming up a time for moral stupidity and darkness a time when the weary and also the drunken give themselves up to slumber okay 
I got this first Peter chapter 4 verse 17 for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh Shemasha and if it first begin at us what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel bro you know because what the Lord say hey go out there and warn them from me give them warning from me tell them to change tell them to repent true repentance bro tell them to come on the one accord tell them to believe in me have faith in me tell them to turn away from this wicked ass world you know, so you, you know, the, you see this song we got in there. If you think you're lonely now, wait until the night when the night comes. Wait until this this word has been um, withdrawn from the earth. You know, wait until the servants of the, the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel are sealed, and you know, and and the judgment start. That the time of Jacob's trouble is in full effect, huh? Judgment, and if the righteous scarcely be saved where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear because this is their time to get that to seek that lord's face to get that that covering that ask the lord to protect us in these days this is the book of isaiah chapter 65 verse 11 you know but ye ye are they that forsook the lord yeah how about shima shah right oh no let's hey hey man we're about to get it in a minute we're about to get it in a minute so look wait a minute the great awakening has happening has happened you know, it's still, you know, this word is being preached on the four corners of the earth telling the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians that, hey, we've been lied to. Come back to the Lord, our God. You know, and once again, Lord willing, we're going to get it in. And that's why we got a lot of uh, precepts, you know, to come out about uh, learning not the ways of the heathen. And, uh, you know, we can paraphrase these things, but we want to bring them up on the scriptures. We want to bring them up to read them. You know, the word of Yahweh Shem Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of Yahweh Shem bro. You know, so the Lord has commanded all men everywhere to repent, to come back to him, to to understand what, what, you know, we're yet this day in our captivity. This is not our rest. This is not our world, bro. Don't be trying to mix worldly things with, with the truth. OK, but ye are they that forsook you. How about Shemasha? You know, we're waiting on the Lord to come and deliver us out of the hands of our enemies. We're not walking around. We're going to get it, man. Um. I want to say we're not walking around. The Lord said, "Envy not that oppressor; choose none of their ways. Learn not the ways of the heathen." All these things, and that's what we see these other Israelite camps doing. Okay, but ye are they that forsook the Lord Yahweh Shemasha. Right now, you're still calling on another name. The Lord said, "Y'all, you shall have no other gods before me. That forget my holy mountain. That prepare a table for that troop. That's right. Keep on doing what you're doing, and that furnish the drink offering unto the to that number. Therefore will I number you to the sword. Right." These guys are still uh, going off on doctrine. Oh, the M-A-R-K, uh, M-A-R-K is sin. No, wait a minute. It's this. No, it's that. It's not the C-H-I-P. They're not warning the children of Israel to, to understand what times they're living in and ask the Lord to have mercy on them. To ask the Lord to, to protect them from their enemy. You know? Instead, they make a covenant with the damn heathen, bro. Therefore will I number you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, okay, Constantly rebuking them. The Lord speaks through the mouth of the prophets. Ye did not answer. When I spoke, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes. Let's keep calling on, on JC. And did choose that wherein I delight not. Right? They, you know, they out here talking about some. So you think if I, we try to preach, you know, in Hebrew or we try to tell the, 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 the Israelites, these Negroes, that the name of the Lord is. Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. They're not going to understand that, man. We got to keep talking, calling him JC, bro. Boy, y'all going to get it, bro. You're going to get it, man. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Not everyone that says them to me. What? Wait a minute. In this, in this time of trouble? In this time of Jacob's trouble? Are they going to be calling on JC? Are they going to start calling Yahweh Shah? Not everyone that says to me, Yahweh shall, Yahweh shall, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father. Many shall say to me in that day, when all hell breaking loose, Yahweh shall, Yahweh shall. Have we not prophesied in thy name? We, we men of the Lord, man. We've been out there preaching, telling the children of Israel to stop smoking. We try to tell them, hey, man, stop committing adultery, even though we commit adultery and pass women around and shit, you know, being hypocrites. You know, making the covenants with the heathen. Talking about it, we not we we weren't we weren't necessarily preaching faith to believe in you and your name. No, we told them to do the law, 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 law. 
Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, have we not prophesied in thy name? What? No, you have not prophesied in his name. And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. Then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity, which is sin upon sin upon sin. Because you won't, re you won't repent. This is the book of Second Edris, chapter 16, verse 67. Behold, Yahweh Shemashah is, is the judge. Fear him. Right. Fear him, bro. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall you. How about Shema? Shall I lead you forth and deliver you from all your trouble, from all trouble? Right. You know, we know we, we're in this sinful flesh. We're not going to be perfect. But we're going to have that perfect understanding. We're going to be rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our abilities, man. OK. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered into idols. And they that consent unto them, because you have no faith, shall be had in derision and in reproach and trotted underfoot. Right. We're right now, we're building that third temple. Right now, we're building up our faith in Yahweh by Shemashah, Shah, understanding that he is. For there shall be in every place in, in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear Yahweh by Shemashah. Shah. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear Yahweh by Shemashah. Shah. For there shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses right y'all you you running around, around here see we're stacking up our riches in heaven while y'all trying to get, get get it in this world trying to build up communities and and uh you know yeah yeah we see it man you think you boy you're not slick man we see what you're doing you know uh heap up disciples up unto yourself for they shall waste and take away all that shit it's going to fly away you know with wing money all your all your is everything's corrupt you know they're about to implement the CD uh, BCs, you know, the digital currency. Okay. They're about to implement the MARK. All praise to you, about Shemashah. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. You're going to be going to Esau, but we're going to be going to Yahweh about Shemashah, you know, for the one of all things. And we're doing it right now. They shall, then shall they, down, then shall be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Hear, O ye, my beloved, the house of David, bro. Said the Lord, Yahweh, Shemashah, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, is your God. And the God of them who keep my commandments. He keeps saying, keep the commandments. Well, one of the commandments is not to have other gods, you know, not to call on other, uh, uh, don't call on other gods, right? But you're calling on JC. Who is JC? We all know who JC is. He's a Caucasian man, a false god and false idol. You know? And the God of them that keep my commandments and precepts. Precept must be on precept, precept upon precept, line upon line. But you cast the words behind you, just like your your, your dad and the devil. Said the Lord. <laughs> Salaki. <coughs> and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift themselves up lift up themselves woe be unto them that are bound with their sins keep getting repute what's the scripture speaks about a man being often reputed heart in his neck shall be destroyed and that without remedy woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities like a field is covered over with bushes and a path thereof covered with thorns and no man may travel through can anybody get to through to y'all motherfuckers it is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed. Right. You, the Lord said, I'm going to leave you there and melt you. This is the book of, once again, to reiterate it, bro. Proverbs chapter 124. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But you have said it, not all my counsel. No, no. What did he call us? <laughs> what did they say about great millstone? Oh, Lord, man. But once again. That Ecclesiastes chapter 33 verse 14 Good is set against evil, life against death You know, hey The Lord is a God of war bro The Lord is a God of war man, it's beautiful And thank the water you have about Shemashah For this understanding The Lord has blessed us enough to, to know his name To call on his name You know What does the scripture say Have no appearance of evil You know, to be separate, be holy from this world Who's calling on JC? You, man, y'all don't even see that, bro. It's plain. All the everybody else in the whole damn world call, are still all running around calling on some JC. You know, but we're the children, we're the Israelites. Y'all still doing it.
but you have set you have set at not all my counsel and would none of my reproof i also will laugh at your calamity i will mock when your fear cometh right because you're gonna say you're gonna be crying out then oh yosha yosha matthew this is oh man this is a strong point we want to make right here i almost want to bring this out at the very beginning but the spirit came to to uh, bring out that there are many antichrists they're against the word they're against you how about shima shai this is the book of uh, matthew chapter 15 verse 14 let them alone let them alone can we look up this word alone real quick let them alone what's alone mean let's see if it's gonna even come up alone uh alone is an american survive uh, shit what's what's going on with uh with this damn dictionary now the fuck let me see alone uh, let me uh, type in a definition maybe that's what it is okay having no one else present okay uh solo Long, solitary, single, unescorted, unattended. You know, don't attend to him, man. Unchaperone, soloist, uh, one's own, one's one, one's own, by oneself. Solo, singular. We know, we all know what it means. You know, leave him alone. Come on, let's go back. Let them alone. You know. Uh, and once again, going back to the, uh, you know, like what the big brother elders say, we sh you should already know better. Man, when I see, uh, if I ever see another Israelite camper group preaching on the, on the street, they're not great. Mil I'm, I'm crossing the street. Why? Because we already know. You know, it's evident. The, the gospel has been preached. And that the, the children of Israel, the true worshipers, are being gathered by the word. They're going to come under one accord, under one doctrine. They're going to continue in the apostles' doctrine. You know, it's evident for us. It's plain to us, you know. And all praises to you, how about Shema Shah for this truth, man. So, hey, let him alone. But this is it. You know, I, I, look at that. Look what just happened, man. It's plain that these guys don't want to hear it. Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, there is uncircumcised. They cannot hearken. The word of the Lord is to them a reproach. They have no delight in the truth bro so let them alone they be blind leaders of the blind and if the blind lead the blind both shall fall into the ditch all these all the ones that are listening to them because this warning is continuing to going out like a you know like a beacon of light right bro like a beacon of light ding ding hear the hear the trumpet the trumpet is being blown titus chapter 3 verse 10 a man that is a heretic after the second after the first and second ammunition reject knowing that he Knowing that he that is such subverted and sinneth being condemned of himself. Right. A heretic. Meaning. Salaki. A heretic is a meaning of. He's a follower of false doc, doctrine, bro. A follower of false doctrine. Do you see this? Look. And it's plain. It's all over the place with these, with these Israelite camps. Definitely IUIC. I, we, we've seen. Bro. We've seen IUIC. Marching in a damn parade right behind the Freemasons. OMG, my man. Come on, bro. This is the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse Salaki. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, learn not the way of the heathen. Plain. Don't learn the ways of the heathen. But what do they do? They're right up, right up, right up, right up that, the heathen's ass with this Friday sundown, Saturday sundown, will not be reproved. You know, this is the book of uh, Proverbs chapter three, verse thirty-one. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. What they what they got? What they got? They got some police body cams on their damn shit. I mean, damn, that's what you want to be, bro. You you want to show, make sure everybody know that you 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 down with this world. You love this. You love these damn Edomites, don't you? You ain't going nowhere, don't you? Huh? Come on, let's get this one. This is the book of John, chapter 3, verse 3. Yahweh Shah answered and said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be, what? Born again. He cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh Shah. We all understand, hey, being born again like a newborn babe, desiring the sincere milk. 
Hey, coming back to you, how about Shema Shah in spirit and truth, uh, like newborn babies. Babies, they don't know nothing, you know? So they're like, they're fresh, they're clean, and you teach them the correct way. Hey, baby, don't, don't do that. Come on, baby, you know, I love you. Uh, come with, stay with, stay with, stay with Dada over here. Don't touch that. This is what this is. This is how you do this. Plain. Same way with this truth. Hey, come, come over here. This is the, this is the way. Walk you in it. Plain, you know? So except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. So when all this stuff start happening to your ass, you know, go and cry to the gods that you have served. Right, bro? This is the book of uh, Baruch. Chapter uh, 4, verse 28. Right, look. Look, bro. The Lord has blessed us with this mercy and truth. He's called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. He's let us know who our enemies are. He let us know that we're his chosen people. For as it was your mind, he let us know that we went off so hard. You know, that's why we're coming back to you. How about Shema Shai? We're weeping with mourning, with supplication. Not trying to be proud of nothing. We need Yahweh Shai, bro. So we're going to be calling on Yahweh Shai as the Lord commanded us to do. You know, hear ye him. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh Shema Shai, so being returned, many are called, but few are chosen. Seek him ten times more. We don't even know if we're the, the elect or not. But we, man, we're, we're, we're seeking the Lord. We're begging the Lord. You know, for he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. Okay, the Lord has already promised it. It's already done. Arise and depart, for this is not your rest. So look, we're we're reaching. We've let go. You know, like we uh, early on. You know, early on, bro. When um, the Lord blessed me and call me out to start preaching this word I, I use the analogy of the you know like women they monkey bar they monkey bar niggas you know you got this nigga over here and then you're reaching over to this nigga and you know because you know adultery and stuff so now we're returning to the lord though you know now we're letting go esau fucking ass in his kingdom and we're reaching we fully grabbed onto you how about shit shine that's the way it should be bro but you got some of the circum some of the circumcision even and you see the uh, two thirds of the children of Israel plainly still out here voting, still having stock in this world, believing in this world, thinking their kingdom gonna go on forever because they're of their father, the devil, bro. But the true worship of Yahweh Hashem, we're fully persuaded in our own mind. We know without a shadow of doubt. We we see measure the time diligent within itself. You know that these things, these prophecies are at hand, man. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide him in himself. We coming to Yahweh Hashem now. Begging the Lord now, please, Lord, Yahweh Hashem, and this is a perfect example of some wicked, stiff necked as Israelites that will not even call on the name of the Lord, bro. Arise ye in the part, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction, bro. You know, this place is polluted. So you want to continue holding on to this, to this place? You want to continue thinking uh, everything gonna be okay here? No, 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 no. This is it, man. This place, this place is about to be done. The two thirds gonna be cut off. This is the book of uh, uh, First Peter chapter one verse fifteen. But as it is written, Salaki. But as it is, but as he which ca have called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, bro. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. We're not. We're not like the. That damn plantation Christian church with the Israelite twist. And that's what you see. That's what these guys are. Why do you think they're still calling on JC? Why do you think they still got the 501c3s? We're going to get to that in just a second. This is the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 3. Can two walk together and accept they be agreed? Right. Once again, going back to those two guys. Don't go over there, man. You already know what they're all about. You already know what they're all about, bro. Don't go over there. You know, we don't run up in no churches no more. You know, we don't run around. Hey, man, y'all, we the Israel. Nope. This word is being preached on the four corners of the earth. The Lord is the one that directs the footsteps of man. And he's the one that's going to bring in the children. All we got to do is preach the word. That's it. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 9. For then will I turn to, to the people a pure language. Right. He's talking about uh, he's, he's making it like um, we don't know the name of the Lord. You know, uh, nobody knows how to speak Hebrew. He's, he brought up those damn gutter rats over there. He giving them some kind of merit, bro? 
They're liars from the womb. We already know they're going off. But but you trying to say that we're going off? You know, when you're trying to say that the, the word of Yahweh Shem is 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 not true, that's what he's trying to say, bro. You know, because of Yahweh Shem Asha say, I'm gonna send you Eliza. Eliza in the last in the last days is gonna turn the father uh, the hearts of the fathers to the sons and the sons to the fathers. You know, roughly paraphrasing, bro. We're gonna return, we're gonna come back. You know? This is the doctrine. For when, for then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may all what? Call upon the what? The name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to serve him with one consent, right? You know, if you you know, if you if you can't get it, we move it on, bro. Plain. You know, at least be called on the name of Yahweh Bahashim Shai. Speaking a little, we, we say, hey, Shalom, you know. The the Holy Spirit, Rakakodash. You know, uh, I want to bring this up here. Is this one? Nope. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, that was another one. I thought I had one. Speaking about, um, we were gonna be, you know, the sp things spoken in Hebrew uh, does not have the, uh, you know, things written in Hebrew. Wait, I got it right here somewhere. Hold on, let me see. What did I do with it? Let me read it real quick out of the apocrypha. I got it right here. I like it, bro. Um, I should have marked it because it's in the it's in Ecclesiastes chapter one verse, like the prologue. Uh, oh, here it is. For the same, it says, for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. Okay. Things translated in Hebrew, and he's he's going on about um, don't we don't have the pure lay, you know? He going off, man. Look, this is a rehearsal right here. We're just coming back to the best of our abilities, rehearsing the righteous acts, bro. What you gonna do when all these calamities befall you? They that are what delivered, the ones that are delivered from the noise of the archers, from the uh, you know when those in the height of world war three when those nuclear warheads have been shot over here to destroy babylon the great aka america from off the face of the earth lord willing we're going to be beamed up in those chariots we're going to be delivered they that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the place of drawing waters you know the spiritual egypt there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of yahweh Asha, the lord yahweh bahashim Asha. once again yahweh see even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of the village of israel then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. We're going to be doing what? Rehearsing the righteous acts, bro. Rehearsing the righteous acts, man. Damn, over-righteous. Thinking they got something, man. Thinking they, they just doing it, bro. Come on, let's go ahead and start wrapping it up. Uh, Ecclesiastic. Oh, that's the one we just read. That's what I was looking for right there, that Ecclesiasticus. But we found it. Let's find it again. Here it is. For the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another language have not the same force in them, bro. So we call it on, on your Habash Shemasha. Out of a pure tongue, you know, calling on his on his name in truth and sincerity. And when we this is the book of uh, Acts chapter 26, verse 14, and when we were fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto him and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul. Why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Speaking in the Hebrew tongue. And I said, Who art thou? And he said, I am Yahweh Shai, whom thou persecuted. And the boy, hey amen. The guy actually said with his own damn mouth. We well, you know the letter J was not back in the time of the, of the, of the, of the Lord when they spoke back then. But we, we still we're going to call it anyway. Because we some stiff necked niggas. We some stiff necked ninjas. This is the book of uh, John chapter 19 verse 20 and Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross and the writing was Yahweh Shai of Nazareth the king of the Jews right Yahweh Shai of Nazareth the king of the Jews this title was read many uh, was read many of the Jews for the place where Yahweh Shai was crucified was nigh the city and it was written in Hebrew 
and in Greek and in Latin, bro. Plain, right? Yahweh Shai, King of the Jews. So, but they got they refused once once again. They just refused to call on the name. Uh, this is the book of Acts, chapter four, verse eighteen. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at at all, nor teach in the name of Yahweh Shai, right? So there's nothing new under the sun, bro. I want to get this. Uh, I got a little article pulled up right here. This says just, you know, just I typed in 501c3s have some rules of what you can preach. And there was a question mark I put on there. And it says one need not look far to see the devastating effects 5013c acceptance has had to the church and the consequence as a consequence restrictions place upon any 501c3 okay and then i uh, just clicked on that i believe there's a few of them you can you can always read you can always investigate it yourself uh i think brother elder malcolm had it one time this is epistle and also the um the brother from jim s orlando in the truth you know uh brought out these, these articles about all the restrictions of a 501c3 bro so, you know, there's nothing new on the sun. Just like they were saying, you better not preach in that name. And the IUIC even admitted that they had some kind of meeting together and they decided all together not to call on the name of Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, bro. Can you believe this? And that's what we're talking about. Many antichrists. This, uh, so this is 501c3 facts. Let's just read read this a little quick. Most churches in America have organized as 501c3 tax exemption religious organizations. This is a fairly recent trend that has not that has only been going on for about 50 years. Churches were only added to Section 501c3 of Tax Code in 1958. We can we can thank Senator uh, Lyndon B. Johnson for that. Johnson was no ally of the church. As part of his political agenda, Johnson had to had it in mind to silence the church and eliminate the significance influence the church had always had on shaping public policy. Right? Because this is their wicked world. You know, they're outside the temple, right? Not that the not that the exam um uh, plantation Christianity was talking about the truth But you know hey These things had to be put in place For this time that we're in now When the true gospel You know because these guys are the adversary Although Johnson pr uh, Preferred this as A favor to the churches The favor also came with strings Attached More like shackles One need not look far To see the devastating effects 501c3's uh, acceptance has had to the church and the consequent restriction placed upon any 501c3 church. 501c3 churches are prohibited from addressing in any tangible way the vital issues of the day. For a 501c church to openly speak out or organize in position to anything that the government declares legal, even if it is immoral, abortion, homosexuality, that church will jeopardize its tax exempt. The 501c3 has had a chilling effect upon the free speech of the church. Uh, we're going to leave it right there. Y'all go check it out for yourself. This is the book of Exodus chapter 32. Like Exodus chapter 23 verse 32. Thou shalt make no covenant with them nor with their gods. Wait. Hey, wait a minute. Law, law, law. Law, law, law. Hypocrites, right? Thou shalt make no covenant with them nor with their gods. This is the book of First Matthew. Math First Maccabees chapter one verse eleven. In those days went went there out of Israel wicked men. You know, we're gonna discern the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have no had no such sorrow. Right, but the Lord's told us to come out here and be hope be holy, be separate. This is spiritual warfare. We're we're not a part of this world. We're waiting on you, how about to come and redeem us out of this, out of the hands of our enemies. But the scripture speaks about we you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free, right? We're we're spent we ain't mean we're set free from these damn devils and shit, man, all this bullshit. 
We, we you know we preach against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. The, but these other camps, man, you are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you would do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh his own, for he is a liar and the father of it, bro. That's you guys straight up and down, bro. And anybody that follow y'all, man, this is the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Okay? What fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness, bro? Let me turn this down a little bit. For what f be un be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers? Y'all don't believe, man. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? Okay, plain. And what concord have Yahushai with Belial? Or what part have he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement have the temple of Yahweh Shemashah with idols, false god and false idols, so-called named JC? We say it so many times, all the time. For ye are the temple of the living God. As Yahweh Shemashah said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Right, going to the to the scripture, Yahweh Shemashah said, I'll be in, in you and you'll be in me. We're going to be on the one accord with Yahweh Shah. That's what it's all about, coming back. Being the children of the Lord, man. Just all speaking the same thing, just plain, man. We are the children of Israel. We know that we are of the Yahweh Shemashah and the whole world life and wickedness, bro. He that is not with me is against me. The separation right there. Being holy, being separate. You know? For the time has come, judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh Shemashah. Right. This had to come out twice. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Shemashah? And you've seen that we brought out a few scriptures, you know, about the the 501c3 is about making a covenant with the heathen, about calling on the name of the Lord, believing in this Lord, you know, being, you know, he that believeth on me is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, you know. The Lord said, hey, come back, repent, believe, be reborn. Don't be trying to mix this doctrine with none of the world stuff. Envy not thy oppressor, choose none of their ways. Make no covenant with the heathen, bro. Learn not the ways of the heathen, man. This is the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. Beware. Beware, watch out for of false prophets because they is out there which come to you in sheep's clothing. Hey, bro, we want to, we try to tell y'all sisters, hey, we try to tell the sisters and the brothers, man, to come back in love, man. We try to tell them to stop smoking cigarettes, and bro. Hey, we try to, hey, we try to tell them, you know, to stop committing adultery, man. What about the Lord? What about that we're the children of Israel, man? What about the promise? Okay, what about the faith? What about the the, uh, the spirit of prophecy about these things that's about to take place? And you, you know, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. What about that? Yeah, we try to, hey, man, y'all got to stop smoking cigarettes. You got to, hey, man, you got to wear your fringes all over. Man, you got to do it, bro. Man, get that. Beware false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raven and wolves. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns and figs of thistle, thistles? You know? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corruptible tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Right, you know, all the brothers were doing when they went up there. Even though, hey, <laughs> even though the strips of tape can two walk together. Don't, don't go around them, man. Leave them alone. But all they were trying to say is, hey, call on the, on the true name of the Lord. Like a, a person of testimony. When I was watching all these other camps, Big Brother Elder kept saying, hey, watch Great Millstone only. Watch Great Millstone only. And I did. Learned the names. When I did that, hey, guess what? Yahweh Shemashah started to bless me and call me out of that darkness, you know, into this marvelous light. You know, um, I stopped smoking cigarettes at that time when I started calling on the names. You know, the Holy Spirit of understanding, bro. Repentance comes with that name. True repentance. Seeking the Lord's face, bro. It's, 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 it's uh, humbling, you know, you humble yourself under the mighty hand of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Being obedient to the word to the best of your abilities, my man. You know, having that fear, having that understanding, trusting in the Lord, believing in his and his words. And he speaks through the mouth of his prophet. So when the Lord say, I'm going to give you passages according to mine own heart that's going to feed you with knowledge. Where are those prophets at? I will get me to the great men, you know, starting with the elder apostle, great millstone. We just, we reading it right here. So these guys are trying to tell you, don't call on the name of the Lord, but call on JC. 
You know, he, they trying to tell you, hey, you know, you can be justified by keeping the law. Beware false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving and wolves, man. You're going to know them by their fruit, bro. You're going to know them by their fruits, man. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name plain, right? Under, well, what is that name? What's his name? What's his son's name, if thou can tell? Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved, bro. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 37, verse 1. Chapter 37, verse 1. So like in Psalms chapter 91 verse 14, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name. Okay. Right. Set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. See, we're looking for, you know, deliverance, bro. We're looking to be protected in this time of Jacob's trouble. We're looking, you know, to avoid that second death. We believe the report. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. That's what we're talking about, okay? Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name. We know the name of Yahweh and the uh, and his works. We know what he's all about. He's a God of war. He ain't going to take, he's an austere man, you know? Man's all is to serve you. How about Shemashai, bro? This is the book of Isaiah chapter 52. Awake, awake. Get you. Awake it, bro. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come unto thee the uncircumcised and unclean. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, ye... We're going to leave it right there. Because the point we want to make right here. It's a lucky man, a phone call. Awake, awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem. You know? Put on Yahweh Shemashai. Put on as the elect. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh Shemashai. The holy city. For henceforth thou shalt no more come unto thee the uncircumcised <coughs> and unclean. You're going to be clean. You're going to be sanctified, made holy. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of Yahweh Shemashai. Washed, made clean. Shake thyself from the dust, all the confusion. Arise and sit down, you know. Well, I don't know about the name. I know the name of this. <laughs> no. We're going to come back. We're going to know, you know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemashah, through the teachers of the elders Apostle Great Millstone that the Lord has blessed us with, bro. We're going to know. You have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things, man. The spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife has made herself ready. Okay? Now made herself ready, but you're going to have these out here. They're going to be out there crying because when the Lord called, they refused. But, you know, this is the five wise virgins making themselves ready. Trimming them lamps, bro. That's what's going on around here. This is the book of... Uh, Isaiah chapter Hold on bro I think this is supposed to be Isaiah chapter 61 Hold on I think this was um, No do we, I think we, we brought this out earlier So lucky So that's the end of it bro Is that it? I want to get that. Do I want to get that 61? No, I think. Uh, no, that's. I'm gonna leave it at uh, 51. So lucky, bro. We're gonna leave it right there. Let me get this last one one more time. Let us. Let's get this one more, one more time. We're gonna close it out. Let us be glad and rejoice. Okay. And give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come, bro. It's that time. To come back, to return to the Lord, Yahabashimashah, you so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. The Lord has made his words known without a shadow of a doubt. He's given us the Elder Apostle Great Millstone. He's given us this Holy Spirit, you know, 
this is the way walk in is playing you know the straight gate so you just believe man and his wife had made herself ready get ready that's what we'll close it out on that and that mark uh, mark 115 and saying the time is fulfilled the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashah is at hand repent ye and what believe the gospel bro repent and believe the gospel and what is it what is the gospel the good news the word the word made flesh believe in Yahweh Shai. so with that I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai Baha Hashem Kwidash I want to give double honors to the elders and apostle Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever it goes. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, y'all.